Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are going to discuss today uh, some questions uh, where more than two inequalities are given and you have to solve them a feasible region and that is the solution by graphical method. So let us start some questions uh, without uh, anything else. So we have to solve today graphical solution graphical solutions for solutions more than two inequalities or more than two inequalities more than two inequalities two inequations more than two inequations two or more than two inequations right so how to deal with them so here are some questions from exercise let me discuss this exercise 6.3 of NCRT. So we are going to discuss first question. It is written here in our questions. It is written that solve the following system of equation. Solve the following system of equations. System of equations. Equations. System, system of inequalities. Equations, inequations, na? So, system of inequalities, inequalities, graphically, graphically, right, na? So, the first question is given here. Uh, this was more than two inequalities. Say, x is greater than three. This is the first inequality. Y is greater than two. This is what given. So, there are only two inequalities. This is just the beginning of this topic. So that is why, because it is written in positive quadrant, so that is why I can draw here only positive quadrant. This is a simple one. So here, uh, this is x-axis, this one is y-axis, this one is origin, and uh, here two inequalities. So first we have to draw equations now. So x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. We have to draw equations for these two x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. So what will these are the two lines now? x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2 is the line parallel to x axis like that. And x is equal to 3 is the line parallel to y axis. So this is x is equal to 3 also. Right. So graph of this I can plot here. This is x is equal to 3 and this graph is nothing else but y is equal to 2. But uh, there is a question that y is greater than 2. So y is greater than 2 is towards the origin or above the origin. If you put 0 here, 0 will not satisfy, not? it means away from the origin. So upward direction. And x is greater than 3. So greater than 3 is in this direction. Remember this. Greater than 3 is this direction. y is greater than 2 in this direction. So region will be, this one will be region. No? This is the region which we need to set. Here, this will satisfy both the inequalities that x is equal to 3 and y is greater than 2. Right now, the shaded region shows feasible solution because it is greater than 3 and y is greater than 2. Both of them are satisfying. So, the shaded region, the shaded region, region shows feasible solution. Feasible solution. Now let us consider question number 2 and the question number 2 is there, uh, second question. This is given that 3x plus 2y is less than 12, x is greater than 1 and y is greater than 2. So here there are three equations and we have to plot graph for it. So we can do that, print it. So we can have graph like this, plot the graph. First you have to make table and I am putting a directly this is x is equal to 1. First equation is x is equal to 1. This is called a junior equation. So y is equal to 2 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. So if you make a table for x and y, then this is x axis, this is x dash, y axis and this is y dash, you know. This is origin. Here, if I make a table for it, then what will happen? 
if I put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1, then what will come? Table for this. Let me put here x is equal to 0, x and y. If I put x is equal to 0, y is 6 and if y is equal to 0, then x is 4. So, 0, 6 and x, 0, y, 6 and there can be point here 0, 6 and x, 4, y, 0 that will be slightly lesser than this. So, this will be 4, 0, right. So, this one is a line and that line is represented as uh, x is equal to this is this will be a line which will pass through this one right and 6 towards 6 also so this is a line that will be passing from x is equal to 4 this is 4 0 and 0 6 that will be here 5 4 3, 2, 1 like that. That will be 6, 0 to 6 and 4, 0 like that. So no need to uh, mark all of them. Then leave it right now. There is no problem. And x is equal to 1 somewhere. This like x is equal to 1 is a line parallel to y axis. So we can plot this line x is equal to 1 parallel to y axis. Isn't it? This is x is equal to 1. This line is described as x is equal to 1. And the third line is this line is say x is equal to 1. Now uh, there is a third line y is equal to 2. So to draw them let y is equal to 2. y is equal to 1 is this, y is equal to 2 is this. So say y is equal to 2. This is a line. This line is y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2. This line is nothing else but x is equal to 1, right? And this line is 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Now we have to uh, find the region, common feasible region, which will satisfy all of them. So to draw them, you have to see whether x is 0. 0 is satisfied? No. Y 0 is will not 0 is greater than 2? No. So these are not towards the origin but away from origin. It means this will be like in this direction. This one is also above the origin that is above this direction and in this one if you put 0, 0 then 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0 is less than 12 then lesser than this means away from this and this satisfies lesser than this, this side it represents over the origin. So less than this, above this, this, this is the feasible region and that will be the feasible region which we have to set them. So this is the feasible region which is lesser than this right now and uh, this is also greater than 3 and uh, greater than 1 and greater than 2 as well. So this is a feasible region and that you have to mark here. So that will be the solution. Now the third question is there and you can go ahead with this also. There is a uh, three graphs here also that is first one is 2x, 2x plus y is greater than 6 third question 2x plus y is greater than equal to 6. 3x plus 4y is less than 12. 3x plus 4y is less than equal to 12. Right? These are the two equations. This is less than 6. So here again these are the two equations you can make a table for it. Each one of them. So I am going to make it table for each one of them. Say for this one uh, this is x and y. You can take values depending upon your convenience, but at least three values to be taken. Uh, two is also more than enough. So the Julier equation will be 2x plus y is equal to 6. If y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 3. And if x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 6. Right now x 0, then y 6. Similarly, here we can make another uh, table and this table for this one also here x and y can be made and using this fact where you can put x is equal to 0 the linear equation will be 3x plus 4y is equal to 12 
So x is equal to 0, y is 3. y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 4. So this is a graph and here we can plot it like Okay, now this is the graph and here I can plot it like uh, this is x axis, right? This one is y axis, then there will be x dash and y dash too. x dash and y dash, this is x axis, y axis, this is y dash, this one is x dash and now this is origin. Here we have to put x 0 y 3, so where is x 0 y 3? x 0 y 3 say this 0 3 0 3 this point and uh, y is x 4 y 0 so there is slightly here this side slightly more than this so it will be here like 4 comma 0 so this is the point so a line must pass through these two points will be representing right now. So that will be a line which will pass through 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 3. So this is a line that is equation of this line is 6 and now the another one is no this is the second one the second line that is 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. This line represents 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. 3x plus 4y is equal to 12 and here x is equal to now the next point is x3 y0 x3 y0 is here only right now and uh, x0 y6 is there x0 y6 is there so another line must be there uh, which will pass through these two points you know so pass through these two points okay so like this So it will pass through this. Let me draw this. This one. So it will pass through this. Here. Now it will pass through this one. Right now. So it will be like. So you will plot on the graph and it will be easier for you. This line is nothing else but 2x plus y is greater than 6. 2x plus y is 6. Now uh, to find the feasible region where the graph uh, has common solution. So you put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 is greater than 6. 0 is greater than 6. This is not true. So not towards the origin but away from origin. So this is away from origin, this direction. And this line is 0 plus 0 is less than 12. Yes, this is true. So this is towards the origin. So above that and below this is the common region and common solution will be, this region will be the common solution because this will satisfy both the conditions, right? So the region which will satisfy both the conditions, that will be a common solution, right? So here this will be a common solutions that can be drawn and this point is nothing else here I am writing 4 comma 0. This point is described as 4 comma 0. The shaded region satisfies both the inequality satisfy both the inequalities and therefore this is a feasible solution. So you will write here the shaded region, shaded region satisfy both the inequality, satisfy both the inequalities, inequalities, hence it is a feasible solution, hence it is feasible, feasible solution. Right. I hope you got it. Now, uh, some more questions I am going to take on here. That is question number four. And question number four is what? Let me discuss. The question is given here. 
x plus y is greater than or equal to 4, 2x minus y is less than 0. These are the two equations that we have to find feasible solutions for them. So first equation is x plus y is equal to 4. You can make a table for it and that is nothing else but uh, here you can put the value of x and y. You will get this x0, y4, y0, x4. That is nothing else other than this. So here you can put it. Now the next thing is 2x minus y is equal to 0. So 2x minus y is equal to 0 and therefore y is equal to 2x. So if you want to make it it will be passage through origin now. So since this will pass through origin, x is equal to x and y. This is the value which we have to take on. x is 0, y is 0. x is 1, y is 2 like that. x is 2, y is 3. So here, how to plot the graph for this? We can plot the graph for this as well. Like uh, here, this is an x-axis. This one is y-axis. I have to plot the graph and uh, this is y, this is x because a one of them is passes through origin. So let me draw a line which will pass through origin. x is 0, y is 0. This will be point. So let us draw a graph like this. First, okay. So let me plot the graph like this and this will be y axis, this is x, this is x dash, this is y dash and x is equal to this is 0, 0, you know, origin 0 and x is 1, y is 2, this is 1, this is 2, so y is 2, x is 1, y is 2, this is 1, 2, 2, 1, right. So this point passes through, this graph will pass through this one, you know x is 1, y is 2 and pass it through origin. So the graph will be like this. Got it? This line is called 2x minus y is equal to 0. This is x1, y2. This is 1, 2. Now the another line which will is pass through x0, y4 and y0, x4. 3 and then this is 4. 0, 4 is somewhere else and 0, 4 is somewhere, 4, 0 is somewhere like this. So if I plot a line which will come to with this, you will see that that will be a line, right now. This will be a line which will be coming like right now. Okay. So this will be a line and uh, these are passing through this. Now we have to find a common feasible solutions. So what will be that feasible solution? Let me write here that uh, feasible solutions will depend upon the value whether the origin is satisfied or not. So 0, 0 is satisfied, 0 plus 0 is greater than 4, no, not satisfied. So it will be away from origin, not towards the origin. This will be away from origin. And here, because since it is passage through origin, so 0, 0 will not be able to decide that whether this will be um, towards the origin or away the origin because it will pass itself through origin. So here you need to put any other value either of this side or that side. This point is 1, 0. So since this point is 1, 0, you can put 1, 0. So x is 1 and y is 0. So 2 into 1 is 2. 2 minus 0 is um, 2 and 2 is less than 0. This is not true. So if I choose a point of this side and which will not satisfy, it will away from this. So it will satisfy definitely this side. No need to check it again because it will satisfy this side. So it is above this and below this. So region will be, common region will be, common region of graph will be like this one. Right that will be the common region which will be satisfying both, right? It is away from this, this side is not satisfying. So this will be the common region which will satisfy and which will be the solutions. So solutions can be described in this way. Okay? So that will be the answer. So hopefully you uh, have enjoyed it.
Now, now let us solve question number five. And question number five is given that two x minus y is greater than one. X minus two y is less than minus one. So these are also two equations, and we have to plot the graph for it. So we can do that by uh, taking the subsidiary equations, like corresponding equations will be uh, one, and this will be x minus two y equal to minus one. Now table can be made and uh, if you make this table then uh, what will be the value here there each other let me write this table from here only so we can draw a table for it right and there will be another table for this one also right okay now uh, in this one the value of x and y can be put right so this is x the value of x and y can be put here this is x this is y here x and y now and there is x and y if you put the value of x here what is the value x is equal to 0 y is minus 1 right now y is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 by 2 right now y is 0 x is 1 by 2 here x is 0 then y is 1 by 2 and uh, here y is 0 then x is equal to minus 1 now we have to plot the graph so let us uh, draw a graph for it and the graph corresponding graph will be like this So this is x and y, say so this is y x axis, there is this one is x, so x minus 1 y 0, x minus 1 y 0 lies where, this is a point lies x minus 1 y 0, x minus 1 here <coughs> and y 0 this will be the point and x 0 y 1 by 2, x 0 y 1 by 2 is here only, right now. So that would be a line clearly. Let me um, draw this slightly bigger scale on bigger. So that is a line basically 2x minus y is equal to 1. Now the next line is x is 0, y is 1 by 2. That is also satisfied the same. x 1 by 2, y 0. x minus 1, y 0, and x 0, y 1 by 2. This is the line x minus 2y is equal to minus 1. This line is x minus 2y is equal to minus 1. x minus 2y is equal to minus 1. And this one is x 0y minus 1. x 0y minus 1 is here something. x 0y minus 1 is this point. And x half and y 0. x half and y 0. So x half and y 0 is this point. So this line will pass through these two points and it will be like it will pass through this one okay so these two lines are intersecting each other and now we have to see that whether this line edge <coughs> which is the region which is feasible so this line is 2x minus y is equal to 1 2x minus y is equal to 1 now to find the feasible region we will see whether the 0 0 will satisfy or not so if I will see here 0 0 0 is greater than 1 it is not satisfying so 2x minus y is equal to 1 that will be not towards the origin that will be away from origin so this side you know and this one is 0 0 is less than minus 1 this is also not satisfying so this is also not towards the origin but away from origin so common region will be this one only right now this one is below this line and this one is above this line right now so above this line and below this line is this region so this is a common region 
which is to be seven. So this is a feasible solution, right? Now let us see question number six, and question number six is there. X plus y, the equation is given. X plus y is less than or equal to six, and x plus y is greater than or equal to four. So here the two tables can be made, and the two tables will be x plus y is equal to zero. And so here we will make a table x and y. If x is equal to zero, y is equal to six, and if y is x is equal to six, y is equal to zero. The equation is x plus y is equal to six. Here the equation is x plus y is equal to four. That is corresponding equation. So x y here also. X is zero, Y is four, X is zero, and Y is four. Now we have to plot a graph, and on the basis of the graph, we can draw this for uh, the value. So let us see this. X is equal to. See, uh, this one is like. So it will represent two parallel lines. You know, X is equal to zero, Y is equal to four, is like this. This is a line. You can write here. That is x is equal to zero and y is equal to four. And the second line is x is equal to zero, y is equal to six. Will be like this. It will be also a line which is parallel to this, right? So this is zero six and zero four. If I make it like this, this is zero comma four. And this is four comma zero. This is a six comma zero, and this is zero comma six. Now, what is the region? The region. How to locate the region that you need to calculate here? How to find the region in between? So here, uh, if you put zero zero, zero plus zero is less than six. So below this line, this is towards the origin. And if I put zero zero here, zero plus zero is greater than four. It is not satisfying. So this is away from origin, right? So there will be line between these two, and all these region between these two will be the solutions, you know. So region between these two will be the solutions, right? So region between these two will be the solutions. So this will be the solution. I hope you got it, right? So region between these two are solutions. It will be coming here. That is the region between these two. Okay. Now let us solve question number seven. And the seven question is there. And this question is given like two x plus y is greater than or equal to eight, and x plus two y is greater than or equal to ten. Is greater than or equal to ten. So there are two equations. So The auxiliary equations can be written as 2x plus y is equal to 8, and here x plus 2y is equal to is greater than 10, so that is 10. Here this is greater than equal to 10. So here now value of x and y can be calculated. X and y, so that can be calculated by using uh, x is equal to 0, y is 8, and when y is equal to 0, x is 4. Here x is equal to zero, then y is five, and y is equal to zero, then x is ten. So you have to calculate, uh, plot this graph now. For y maximum value is ten, so we have to plot a graph related to this one because this is a positive quadrant only. So you can make a graph like this, right? Now. So that will be like this. You can draw it like this. There is no problem. And here, this is x-axis, x-axis. This one is y-axis. Now this is one is origin. The points are x zero y ten. Zero ten is somewhere this, and zero five, x zero y five, x ten y zero. So this point is not required. X is longer, so x is ten y is five. So that can be here only. X ten y five y zero. This is a point. X is ten y is zero. Right now, so point will be here only. X is zero uh, y is five. So that is half than this. So this will be zero five. 
so a line must pass through these two points line will pass through these two points no? so here is the line this is the line right okay now uh, i hope you got it this is the line which equation is what x plus 2 y is equal to 10 this line has equation x plus 2 y is equal to 10 now the next one is now uh, the next one is x is equal to 0 and y is 8 so 0 8 is somewhere this this is the point 0 8 0 8 is there and x is 4 y 0 so 4 is somewhere like this right now 4 is somewhere like this so this is 4 0 now the another line will be coming from another line will come from uh, these two points so that will be a point here and that will satisfy this line right so it will be like this one right, 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 right. just wait right. yes this is a point and this is 4 comma 0 now to find feasible solutions in this one if you put 0 0 it will be not satisfied 0 is greater than 8 so it is not satisfying it is not towards the origin but it is away from origin this side and if you put this side and if you put 0 0 here then that will be 0 plus 0 is greater than 10 that is also not satisfied so this will be also above this origin right now this line so what will be the common feasible solution so common feasible solution will be above this right so that will be the common feasible solutions right this will be the common feasible solutions i hope you got it this is the common feasible solutions which is above the both the lines so that will satisfy right so this will satisfy this will satisfy and that will be the solutions So the shaded region, shaded region satisfy both inequalities, both inequalities right now, both inequalities, hence it is a feasible solution, feasible solution. Right, that will be the answer. So hopefully you got this. How to deal with these questions? And uh, I'm giving you some homework that you can solve seven questions. I have did it. Now you will uh, be able to solve um, same questions of this category like uh, eight, nine, and ten. Eight, nine, and ten you can do your own. Uh, eight and nine you can even do because there are four solutions or uh, four equations are there. And if you are not able to solve, we will discuss it in the next class. Thank you very much. God bless.